Hey everyone, now let's dive into ClickUp where they just added the new custom task types. Something we've been waiting eagerly for because this introduces what they've been working on, the custom item types. So you essentially can build proper databases instead of just task lists that always have an assignee, a priority, a due date assigned. So you have proper databases. However, it's not there yet. They just simply added a custom task type. What this means, I show you now. So here, for example, that's on a demo stage, uh, but I will show you in a moment in our team paperless movement, how this looks in action. But to explain to you here, I can select the different statuses. You, use, you know how this looks like, but now you can select this and you have a new icon here, set task type. Or you could also go to the three dots and say task type here. It says new as well. And here you see already the task types that we created. So what does this mean? Let's go to the task types and here we go. This is it. So you have the default task and you have the milestone. That's what you will see when you activate this in the 3.0 beta. And these are the custom types that we already created for our use case. However, what we expected, obviously, when we click on create task type, that there would be now custom fields that we can apply to this task type. And I also wonder why it's called task type and not item type, because task type always indicates that there are still tasks. There will be always statuses in front of that and priorities and so on. But let's see, we can have an icon that we can pick here and then we can say item and items and then we can give it a description and that's it. Now we have a task type created. Let's go back, go to this to-do list and now I can select this and change it to this new item. Okay, so that would be cumbersome to do this for all the tasks. The reason they do this is now you can have several tasks with different types in one list, which is not so bad, but you can also go to the list, click the three dots and there you have default task type. And now I can set a default type. So whenever I create a new item, now I have this task type that I just selected. I also could select all of them and change all of them to the task type. Okay, so good. Now I can change the status and you see this icon just changes colors accordingly. That's it. That's the only thing it does. It is just an icon change in front of it. Nothing more. Yet, as we are in the beta Slack channel and obviously we reached out asking, was this it? No, this was just the launch, the first introduction of the new task types and there will be more added over time. Let's see how this evolves. We will keep you updated on this channel. But I want to show you now how we leverage already the change of the icons and to have these different task types in our setup. When we go to the Payless movement, we have the different work streams. Okay, so we have the deep dive creation, the weekly AMA sessions that we have in the membership, the article creation, the two videos that we create and so on. And now we gave all these different things, different icons. So the YouTube videos you see here, the articles that we are writing are here, and we have different icons. And if you are part of the Payless Move membership, then we keep sharing how we use ClickUp. And obviously that we are working on our ClickUp like a pro course and our project management course. We talk about this a lot. And this actually works very well with our principle of this week view, because we have the advantage in ClickUp to go to top level and then see all the tasks that are underneath. So in these different folders, we have different tasks. So in the operations, we have different tasks and so on. And now we see on a top level everything. However, we have a filtered view that says this week. And this allows us now to show only the tasks that we need to work on this week grouped by a signee. And that makes it so easy to see who is working on what this week. That's what we focus on. And this is how we approach this. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we will talk a lot more about this in the near future. But here you go. Now we have a list of things. And before we had the new custom types, we had this icon for the normal task and we had this icon for the milestones. And the milestones we use to have a weekly goal. So these are the type of tasks that we want to finish this week without any excuse. And the normal icon was just for tasks that when, if there is time, then let's do this as well. We realized that whenever we have a, a video 
that we want to work on. This is a weekly goal. The video needs to go out this week. So obviously this is a milestone. So there's no need to indicate this as a milestone. Instead, it shows up as a video. So now I have in this list a very easy overview to see what I'm working on this week. I'm working on a video, I'm working on the AMA recording, I'm working on the new course, the Heptabase like a pro course that will launch next week. And then we have other milestones for things that are not part of any work streams. And I think this is already worth it. That's already worth the upgrade, just having the different icons there to get a much quicker glance on what you're working on. Because now we are on top level and we see all the things that could become very messy. We already filter it down by the due dates that are only this week or overdue in order to catch them as well. And then we see ad additional things like this. So I think this is really useful. Obviously that's not so massively exciting as we were hoping for whenever they launched the custom item types or now custom task types. But let's see what they will come up with in the future. And if you want to stay up to date on this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the new custom types. Catch you up next time.